Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here with a neat quadcopter that I just got in yesterday. It's the uh, Flying 3D X8 with GPS. Um, it has actually all kinds of features that uh, I, I find really advanced for a uh, quadcopter at, at this price range. Uh, again, the price range I believe is 187, but including shipping, it runs it brings it up to about 216 dollars. But this quadcopter has telemetry. Now, what's telemetry? Telemetry, the quadcopter sends a signal back to your receiver so you can see what the battery power is, which is very important. You can see it's lat long. You can see it's range from you, which bearing from it is from you, I believe. Um, it talks to the transmitter, in effect, which is really darn cool. Uh, the CX-20 can't do that, nor can the V-303. Let's take it out in the field and show you what it, what it can do. Now, it has features. Uh, you can fly it um, in manual mode, you know, where you control it like any other toy quadcopter. Um, it has alto, altitude hold mode. Um, it has uh, position hold mode, you know, GPS position hold, where it'll hold its position in space, and you can easily fly it or run. Um, it has headless mode, and it also has return to landing. Now, what I want to do is... I want to go out here in the field and mark an X on the ground because I do want to demonstrate that return to landing. Um, other things about this quadcopter, its advertised range is beyond 500 meters. Beyond 500 meters. They don't say 500 meters. They say this will go past 500 meters. Um, I should easily be able to fly within satellite like here by doing such. So I'm going to plug in the battery. We'll get this thing started and get some uh, satellite locks. And once it's ready to fly, I'll start it back up and we'll start this video again. Now, this is the screen that's used for your telemetry, and if you press the up-down button, you can show what the uh, rece reception is from the quadcopter. Right now it's saying it's at 10.7 meters altitude, uh, I don't know if that's correct or not, uh, voltage of the, the quadcopter is uh, I don't 12.5 volts, I don't, I'm not sure that's right, but... There's your lat latitude and longitude, and it's got 10 satellites locked. Um, its course is minus 18. I don't know if that's correct because it's really not moving. Um, I'm not sure what HDOP is, and horizontal course, is, it's actually not moving, so we really don't know that. Uh, its vertical speed is zero. That's true. <laughs> its yaw is it's saying 67 and uh, pitch and roll are close to zero so what I like to do is I want to know distance and that would be the distance from the uh, X that I drew on the ground there now to unlock we got, we got enough um, satellites it's saying we had 10 satellites and you can also tell by the little blue LED light on the back if it's blinking blue Instead of red, there's no red there. That means you've got a sufficient number of satellites to fly. Now to unlock the blades, you bring them down and upward. And you got to go right to the air right away or else the motor shut down. This is the first flight. Now I'm going to go into position hold right now. And also you got to control the the um, altitude by setting your throttle to zero. This is the position hold of this quadcopter, which is pretty darn good. I'm walking around it. Also, I want to turn on that camera so I'm going to uh, land it again. I forgot to turn on the camera. And let's lock it. Okay. And turning on that camera, I got my little uh, run cam attached to this thing and I'm using the credit card mount and of course my velcro cable ties nothing fancy folks if it works keep it simple the KISS principle is still alive <laughs> okay we still got good satellite lock let's take it for a flight around the uh, park here I'm in altitude hold again see you gotta take off right away Let's go up. And you set the throttle to the middle, and it hovers in space. And it's maintaining a lock by GPS. Now, I'm going to, okay, I'm going to go into altitude hold instead of GPS. Now it's going to drift. 
but I can control the movement of the quadcopter by it will just maintain that altitude and I just want to stay at that altitude there I don't want to go too high or too low and we'll bring it back toward me Hello there. <laughs> now again, the range on this thing is 500 meters at, at least. <laughs> it says in excess, so we can easily go out into the, the field there. Now when we're at this much distance, yeah, what is the distance by the way? I'm just going to put it in a hold there. It says 195 meters, 97 meters. So that's pretty darn cool <laughs> to be able to know how far away you are. See, here's what's on my screen. I can see it off in the distance there. I'm going to circle the field and keep it out about 180 meters or so. That is just so freaking cool. I'm going to increase altitude too. There's some birds over there that don't like this. Now, the competitors to this, and the CX-20 of course, and the V-303 and the XK Detect, <laughs> they don't have this telemetry. I think that is so freaking awesome. Telemetry to be able, it's right now I'm 156 meters. I know exactly how far away I am. It also supposedly you, you could, you're right, should be able to um, specify maximum range and maximum altitude. Uh, right now I'm at 72 meters. But uh, i got to figure that one out yet. I haven't uh, gone through the book yet to see how to set the maximum altitude down that. 100 meters away, going right overhead. It's 72 meters. Oh, just an awesome, awesome quadcopter, folks. I really like this one. <laughs> you know, I, I like the V303, but the telemetry. <laughs> I just can't get over that this has actual uh, telemetry to let you know what you're doing how far you are how high you are 169 meters okay I'm gonna bring it down low coming down pulling down on the throttle now I'm still in altitude hold okay now let's test that I'm gonna bring it to hover there and I'm gonna test return to landing Go into manual. Let's see if it returns to landing. I think I gotta go to GPS to do such. <laughs> you gotta be in GPS and return to landing? Yeah. To do such, you got to set it to GPS mode and then hit RTL. Again, that wasn't in the instructions. It wasn't very explicit. But it seems to be coming back and coming down. Altitude 71 meters. Distance 12, 9, 8, 7 meters from its takeoff point. 6 meters, 5 meters, 4 meters. Oh, this telemetry is so awesome. But when's it going to start coming down? There it goes. It, it goes until it's directly overhead the takeoff point and then it comes down. That's interesting. It waits until the distance is almost zero and then it des descends. Let's see how close it hits that X. That X is there. Yeah, it's, we'll see, still, still coming down. The X is there, and it lands over there. Oh, I'd say about at least two meters away. 
but still pretty darn cool I like this quad I like this quad a lot let's see if we uh, let's try the heading mode and I'm going to set it to altitude hold and we're going to increase the altitude again we're in heading lock mode now with just heading lock only okay that means I should be able to rotate this quadcopter and that's pulling back I used uh, Owens Peak off in the distance there as the base heading let's see if I turn it to the right if it still does that I don't know do I gotta be in I'm going back to manual I'll figure the heading lock later <laughs> in a future video okay what haven't I tried yet I tried to return to landing let's just do some manual flying around actually let's go back to altitude hold and I'm going to set my telemetry uh, distance what's my battery voltage 10.7 volts I'm not sure if that's good or not We still got altitude, distance, and voltage. 10.7 volts. We started at 12. I'm going to do low speed pass over these bushes here. Distance 150. coming back <laughs> oh so awesome that you can do this 250 237 it's coming back so I know it's coming back because the distance is decreasing I like this quadcopter folks I'm gonna enjoy this one just for that telemetry reason <laughs> Okay, let's set it up high one time and just do a rotation. And I set it up to about 70 meters. I'm going to go to position hold, GPS. And let's stop it right about there at that position. You hear that little blip? That means I'm at center position. It should be holding it. And I'm rotating. Going back to altitude hold. And just rotate up there. Okay, let's bring her down now. And now I'm back in manual. I'm just going to do some manual flying now. Oh boy, this is fast. Let's see how it... Can it do funnels? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This is actually a great quad. Um, this has been around for a while, about a, at least a year. I'm surprised. Well, a lot of people have this, but uh, it was pretty darn expensive when it came out. Right now, it's dirt cheap. So I recommend if you're interested in this one, I'm interested in this one. I'm going to be doing a lot more of this one. This is a great one. The Flying 3D X8. I want to go back to altitude hold. GPS. Oh, it doesn't have a satellite lock right now. So let's bring it down. Why doesn't it have a satellite lock? Let's go up and down. Oh, it's nine satellites. It's got an, it has satellites. It just wasn't sufficient. It was eight and nine satellites. Probably from my jerky. Uh, yeah, 
banking and jerking around. Anyways, this is, again, the Flying 3D X8, my first flight of it. I am impressed. I'm really impressed. It's pretty darn cool. I'm really impressed with uh, telemetry. So, Quadcopter 101, let's bring it up and show the mountains in the distance. Quadcopter 101, hope you enjoyed this flight. Quadcopter 101, signing out.